Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew, and welcome on back to Leo Gaming. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day, and we are back in another episode of our European series. And yesterday's starting episode, even though it was quite a bit long, you guys really seemed to like it. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on. Um, there is one change that I want to make from the last episode, and that's to do with our wood and lumber line that we have over here near rugby um simply said i want to try and convert the line that we have going from this forestry that we have over here uh into a train line so it's just going to be a simple uh cargo line that's going to transport uh logs between the two destinations and that will go ahead and one get rid of the use of um trucks on that line and then we're going to just go ahead and uh, go from there. We're still going to use trucks to transport um, the planks from the sawmill over to the tools factory and then transporting the tools in the rugby and then having them go back to the sawmill. But uh, yeah, we're going to use the a cargo train to transport them from this forestry over here to the sawmill. Now, in terms of this forestry going over to this sawmill, I'm going to keep that the same for now. I'm not going to really change that up yet. Um, that might be in a future video. I'm not too sure. But let's go ahead and get this one sorted out. So this one is just going to be a terminus to terminus uh, transport section. i um, not sure what else you can call it, to be honest. Um, and we are actually like dead on money. So I would have to uh, wait for a bit of income to roll on in before we're able to build anything. Um, so one of the things that I decided to do is that offline, I decided to go and test out a few things. Um, the first thing I decided to do is test out, um, the prospect of creating a train line going from this forestry over to the sawmill and on the way back, dropping off the planks at the tools factory. The prospect of that was actually pretty good, meaning that we were actually able to make a good amount of income. Um, the only downside with that is after I put in this uh, cargo line right here, this forestry started to die at, down in production. So I'm guessing that with what we had going on here, or what I had going on initially, um, didn't really suit too well with this forestry. So we're just going to keep that with trucks for now. Eventually, we might switch it over to trains. But uh, we'll worry about that when the time comes. Now, uh, something that I was prospecting before I got started recording is I was prospecting an idea about creating a dual line. And uh, for those who don't know what a dual line means, it's pretty much where you have uh, passengers and cargo uh, that is running on the same stretch of track. So in this case, we would be having a dual line that would be operating between Ragby, Woodstock, and Wivelscombe. Um, and the reason it would be a dual line is because we would have construction materials over here that would be shipped off into Woodstock and Ragby. Um, now, we do can ship the construction materials into Emsworth, but I think that's a later point that we can do that. Um, and even though I do have plans to go ahead and get uh, tools into Thetford, Darwin, uh, Biggles Wade over here, Emsworth, and Wilsgom. I really don't have the reduction capacity to go ahead and do that yet, so we're just going to stick with it producing in rugby. So let's go ahead and get, sort that all out. Now that we got a little bit of income, we should be able to go ahead and figure out what we're going to do with that. So first off, let's go and work on the lumber line, because this will provide us with a bit of income, not by much, but it will provide us with a bit of income to get us going. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this connected right here. And there we go. Now that should be connected to the forestry. Yes, it is. That's perfect. Um, I'm going to also change this name over to Rugby Transfer. Just so that way um, it makes a little bit more sense. Um, now I would go ahead and just do something where it would be like this. But I think I want to do it so that way um, we kind of have like a bridge going along here, something like that, but that costs about 169,000 just for that stretch alone. So I might just do this on level with the ground 
about to right here, I would guess. Granted, that does create a level crossing, but that's perfectly fine. We don't need to worry about that too much. Here is going to be a bridge regardless. So let's just go and sort out how much that's going to be. If we keep it dead straight, it's going to cost 196000 But if I want to come over a little bit, I want to try and keep it at high highest speed as possible, even though the bridge won't go at a highest speed. Um, and it looks like that's actually too low to the ground. So I'm going to go and relay that track. Uh, because I want to get it a little bit higher. Uh, so let's go and just get it like right there. That's kind of like a good spot to go and get it off the ground. And then go ahead and try and level it off of sorts. It says 221,000. That's not too bad. Um, what we can do is I'm just going to take out a million, uh, an additional million in our loan to go and build that up. So that way we can go and sort this out. Um, this is not only going to increase our capacity for logs that can be shipped along this line, but it's also going to increase the uh, frequency in which we're going to be bringing logs in. So let's go and get a terminus station over here. Um, in fact, I'm just going to build it kind of... I'm just going to build a regular cargo station. I'm going to put it about right hmm, right there I want to say kind of seems like a really unorthodox place to put it but you kind of will see why um, just in case I do want to go ahead and build up that line from the other lumber lo lumber area uh, or l other forestry my bad uh, we can go ahead and put that in nice and easily Let's go and connect this on up. 47 coming into that curve. I preferably would want it to stick around 50. Uh, now, something that I have been thinking about is the type of vehicle that's going to go on this line. In my testing, I used a uh, A3-5, but I think I don't want to use that. I think I don't want to use that solely for the reason um, that it's a fair bit expensive, to be honest. So let's go ahead and get that going along. And will that connect right there? Ooh, the road gets in its way. Darn. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. And that should be fine. Okay. Fairly nice. Let's go ahead and smooth it out as well. Um, or at least flatten the terrain around it first. And then we can smooth it on out. And there we go, okay. Now since we don't have any dual tracks, we don't need to worry about any terrain issues. But let's go and get that actual train line set up first. So we want to have it going from the rugby transfer into lower rugby. Uh, and then we are just going to call this the same kind of type of naming convention that we were using before. Cargo for rugby, and this is going to be lumber. And I'm going to put TR at the end, meaning train. And uh, that should work perfectly fine for us. So let's go and get a train built up for that. Now we have the cl uh, class A3 slash 5. I would want to use that, but it's fairly expensive at 3.7 million. So I think I'll save that for a different line for the time being. We could use the PLM. Again, fairly expensive right now. 1.6 million. Uh, we can use the pr uh, the Prisor, no, the BR53. Uh, so we can use that and that would actually be perfectly fine. And what I'm going to do is grab cargo and we want to get these flat cars with uh, side stakes. Um, this one has a capacity of eight per, so we can go ahead and do one, two, three, four. Also, we got post bus available. Good. And that's going to cost us 2.2 .2 million. That's perfectly fine. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take out the additional 1.5. And that should go ahead and get us going. I'm only going to do one train for now. So that way, eventually, we'll go ahead and get another train on there. Uh, but, of course, to get another train on there, we would have to double track it from pretty much about, like, right here over to the level crossing. 
Now that should go ahead and tra uh, start getting the wood going really quickly. Um, forestry is going to see that that has a faster frequency time than the actual uh, trucks. And eventually I'm going to go ahead and start dying down the trucks that we have going along this line. So there's that. Now, did you already pick up a full load? Uh, yes, you did. Perfect. Okay. Now, you already got uh, 18, 20 waiting there. So that's perfectly fine. We'll go ahead and leave that alone for now um, and let that run. In fact, I want to just see how much are you going to make upon drop-off. So it does go at a fairly low speed, but let's see how much it makes first before we make any assumptions. Um, and going down one time speed here just to go and get a better view. And that makes 190k. Okay, that's not too bad. About 200k per trip with that. So if we want, we could extend the amount of cargo slots, which, to be honest, we might have to. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and see what we can do there. Uh, one in... Nope, I didn't want to make a new vehicle. I want to take a look at the train line i want to go and adjust it if i were to add two more vehicles seven hundred and forty seven thousand. that's not too bad um i'm gonna go and leave that alone for the time being let that run and uh let's go ahead and get this area all sorted out so um we got m uh, we got ragby woodstock wilvescombe and our two construction um our two construction materials producers, the stone, uh, the quarry, and the actual construction materials plant. Oh boy, okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have a terminal station. So this terminal station is going to be over here at the construction materials plant. And I think we're going to have, I want to say, two stations or two platforms. So that way we can have one uh one platform dedicated to the line that's going to travel from the quarry over to the construction materials plant. Um, in fact, if I take a look at a depot here, and if I were to take a look, a gondola can only do stone. So I would need to have this, uh, the actual stone line separate from the construction materials line because the construction materials can be brought out on the flat cars. That's perfectly fine. We can work with it. We can definitely work with it. So on that case, I'm gonna have it be a three-platform station over here. Um, but first, but for symmetry sakes, I'm gonna make it a four-platform because why not? <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna just go ahead and connect it like right here. Oh, can't because I don't got the money. Whoopsie. Um. I really got to change my key bindings because I keep using the one, two, and three keys for um, speed control when those are actually for your HUD. Keep forgetting that. Really need to change that up sometime soon. Anyway, uh, now we just got to wait for the money to roll in here. Um, so the idea with this is that we're going to bring stone from the quarry here into the construction materials plant. And then we're going to use the other three platforms to ship out the materials one platform going all the way over to Woodstock, one going over to Ragby, and eventually one going to Emsworth. So that's going to be one part of the dual line right there. The other part of the dual line is having a passenger connection going from Ragby, use, utilizing the same station, mind you, um, going to Woodstock, using the same station as well, and then having it come down here alongside the construction materials line, and having it veer off to Wivelscombe where it will terminate. Um, and yeah, we should be good with that. Um, I think that this will just be a three-stop three, a three -stop passenger system just because I really don't think that it would be prospect to go and bring the line from Ragby down to Louth or to Ferndown or to extend from this side over to Wood Green or Haley. I just don't think those would be a good idea right there. Maybe, to be honest, going to Wood Green, but that would be a bit far-fetched to be, in my honest opinion. In my honest opinion, that would be a bit far-fetched. Um, but we are at 766,000, so let's go ahead and get this station placed. 
Um, and... Oh, it seems like the actual cost for it is just going up and up. So 600,000, let's go and place you down right there. Now, as far as tracks are concerned, we got to go ahead and sort out what's going to be kind of like the main track. So we want to, of course, have uh, a terminal over at the quarry because that's going to be the actual stop for our uh, stone. And we want to go in. Uh, hey, press the wrong key. My bad. Uh, we want to have the stop be kind of like right here. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to re uh, lay a road kind of like right here. Just so that way that's a little bit of a spur. Stays off the main road and that should go and connect quite nicely. 183,000, which we now got. Thank you for the lumber line. And uh, there we go. Now, the main connection where it's going to actually be holding both cargo and uh, passenger. I think is going to be like around here. Now I think I would want to have it so that way they operate on two separate track or two separate sections of tracks. So like two uh, two tracks that are going to be for passengers, another two tracks that are going to be for cargo. But after thinking about it just now, I don't think that's going to be a good idea, as we need to have the construction materials line stop at the same platforms. Or stop at the same stations that Woodstock is at and Ragby. So that, that's something to go and consider right there. So all we got to do is just wait for an actual amount to come in. Um, what I might just do is check to see how our lumber line is doing. To uh, see if we can possibly get milk some more income out of that. Also something I'm going to do real quick is just cut our um, time progression speed to half. Just so that we were not going too fast in the time progression. And uh, snap on, please. I think that the game has been having some weird issues with snapping. So it's going to be interesting to say the least how that's being worked out. Um, we should get some more income, please. Uh, of course not. Okay. Well, I, I couldn't help try but trying. <laughs> If we can get some more income coming in, and we should be good if it's if that's okay, game. Uh, of course not. Let me go check that lumber line because I think that it would work a lot better suit. In fact, it's definitely going to work a lot of better suit with 200 freaking cargo waiting. Also, you guys are just waiting like crazy, so I'm just going to have you guys be sold. And thirty thousand. Okay, now how is the train line doing over here? Just dropped off. You're still at thirty-two capacity. I need to go and get you upgraded now. Um, let's go ahead and adjust the line or adjust the train. We want to get two cars on there. Seven hundred forty-seven thousand. Um, we can take out an additional five hundred just to go ahead and afford that, and uh, we can do that quick and easy. Six cars for that type of train is perfectly fine. Still has a good uh, speed rate on it, so that's all well and good. That should hopefully also cut down on the amount of logs that we have piling up here. Not by much, but by a bit. Uh, because this now has a capacity for 48 per trip. So I want to assume that it's a new amount that it's going to get per trip is going to be about... Mm -hmm. I want to say about 250,000, maybe about 300. Um, but let's just go ahead and ride this train a little bit since we haven't done a train riding yet. I do kind of like the look of these trains. These are kind of like the classic steam trains that you would expect to see. And um, if you haven't played this game before and you're wondering how I'm able to move the camera so easily like this, simply all you have to do is just use the arrow keys on your keyboard and you will be perfectly fine um but yeah 
this is definitely going to get... Uh, I, I, I'm interested to know how much this is going to get us. Six stake wagons full of logs. I want to say it's around 300,000. I want to say. That would make sense to me. I'm not too sure, but that would make sense to me. I will have to say that this model, um, you guys can kind of see it right there, but it does like kind of like, uh, not render correctly on either side with the, um, I forget what these are called, the, not the wheels, the uh, actual, the pistons, yeah. So I forget that the pistons, the models for the pistons aren't really that good. Um, but yeah. Also, if I am in, if I am not correct on the name on that, please you can correct me in the comments. Um, so there's that. And let's just go ahead and ride along this view. Oh, <laughs> bit of smoke right there. And uh, we might want. Eventually, I'm gonna go and clear out this area to kind of go and create a bit more of a clearing. Just so that way it's not like surrounded by trees at all. Um, and we can get a better perspective on how much the train is going to get. Or how the train is doing. Whichever one. We already know. So let's see. How much are you going to make? Have to stop. 285,000. That's not bad. That we can deal with. We can definitely deal with that. That's going to be kind of like our main source of income right there. Um, now, because of that, this truck line is going to be redundant. So I'm just going to go and start selling off the rest of these vehicles. Um, as we really don't need them now. Let's check the lo that line. Do we got any more vehicles? No, we do not. So we can go ahead and actually just get rid of that line. And there we have it. Um, now I am going to go ahead and get this set up. Not for that, but for this one. Okay. And what I'm going to do is configure this station to not have this module right here anymore. Okay. And there we go. So that's perfectly fine right there. We don't need to worry about that for now. Um, now let's focus on that dual line that we got over here. In fact, so let's see here. So I think we're okay with having it so that way there's at least two tracks right here because I'm anticipating that um, even though this is only going to be supporting the trains that are going to the cities and, of course, to Wolfscombe, I do want to make sure that it will be able to have enough for four trains because we're going to have at least one train going to Woodstock, one train going to Ragsby. So uh, we'll be having this... Uh, we'll have, be having... Stone going from the stone quarry over to the construction materials. Then having three different lines that are going to be front for construction materials going from here over to Woodstock first. Then uh, one at a later date going to Emsworth and one going to Ragby. But with that said, I think I want to end the video off there. It has gone on for too long today. Um, in between episodes, I'm going to go and get uh, the actual stone quarry hooked up to the construction materials plant. Just so that way we can kind of get that kick started. And then in the next episode, we'll go ahead and start off by getting the line going from 
uh, the construction materials plant over to Woodstock and Ragby. And then, of course, get the passenger line hooked up as well. But yeah, with that said, I will see you guys in the next episode. And I hope you guys had a wonderful time watching. And if you guys would do me a huge favor, if you haven't done so yet, please do go and hit the subscribe button and hit the like bell if you haven't done, or like button if you haven't done so already. Anyway, have a good one, everyone, and ciao for now.